Okay, everybody, this is dead in the afternoon. Look at that temperature. 35 degrees Celsius without the hum humidity, humidex index. I'm not going to be on camera because I am currently roasting, but this is I am Marina Center, pretty much center. And uh, I'm going to walk you through it with a voiceover so you can take a look all the way to my hotel. I'm currently staying at a hotel apartment. You'll see it. Oh, fuck. I thought I got bit by something. Um, so here's your walking tour. Unfortunately, we're stuck. stuck behind that. It's very safe. The most dangerous thing is crossing the road. <sighs> So this is dead in the afternoon when people are at the beach having a siesta or if you're working on in tours you're touring it's, it's you don't walk around here during the day this time. That's how you know you're a tourist. But for me, it's an easy time to film. You can see all the nice hotels. So you literally go from beachfront hotels because the beach... So here, you can see my finger. The beach is there, okay? So I'm on this side of the street. You cross the street, the beach is on the other side. So you'll see all these beachfront hotels, but then adjacent to them, you'll see hotel apartments that are like mom and pop's apartments that I highly recommend. So if you want to splurge, go to a beach hotel. Otherwise, I actually prefer the mom and pop's apartments. They're usually family run. They're extremely well kept. They're lovely. They've got their little kitchenettes. They are fabulous. And that's one thing I love about the Greek islands. I've been doing it since I was a teenager. You'll see tons of shops like this as well. I need to get myself a hat. Um, you'll see tons of restaurants along the way. This is a talking parrot. I've heard him say a few things. Um, so, walking and talking as we go, you'll see lots of shops like this. Anything you need. Like me, I like big mugs. So I usually pick up a mug. But the kitchenettes are equipped with the basics. And then you'll see supermarkets like this one, literally on every corner. And they have everything you need. They're quite large and quite well equipped. This one here, that family is from Finland. I had a conversation with her the other day. They've been here for years. And then right over there, I'm in such a great location. You can see my finger, that's a bus stop. Wherever you see that shelter, there's usually a bus stop, but that blue sign, let me zoom in. That is your, and that van now is trying to get in. That's your bus stop. And then right across the street, that's your beach. So that's where I go every day. I just cross over 
over the way. And that restaurant, Temple, that's owned by a Bulgarian gentleman and uh, I can vouch for it. The salad was good. Can't vouch for everything on the menu, but I had the salad. The salad was very good. Thank you for the extra dressing. That was good. Um, and now I'm gonna take you up to my hotel. So it's just off the main road. That's my hotel right there. Now, when you read about this hotel online, they literally say it's a hidden gem. It is because look at the main road. You literally just have to turn up. You have to be careful of the cars though. Look at this guy. He didn't even make a straight turn. He was not paying full attention. You need to pay attention to the cars here. We're probably free. It's the only thing that's dangerous. So you'll see that hotel heaven. This is the third place I'm staying at. So here's a pro tip this island has primarily i mean 95 percent scandinavian guests uh, my hotel has some russian guests as well but they come for short periods of time so the hotels are booked just for days so for me to find a few months to come and film uh it was impossible which is why i had the issue and i got an airbnb that didn't work out for me and then now i'm switching every week i've been switching hotels but i'm giving this one two thumbs up so here's the info okay it's super beautiful look at it this is like a mexican mini resort and it's very well priced And then directly across the street here, you've got another one. These are the mom and pops ones I was mentioning. I have not stayed there. I've not read the reviews, cannot vouch for it, but I can vouch for this one. Okay, this one's very good. You can find it online. You can read the reviews yourself. Um, look at the grounds, how well kept they are. I'm filming this all handheld. I apologize if it's a little bit shaky. Okay. Once again, in the heart of Aya Marina, but as you can see, we turned up the road, so it's not exactly on the main road, and then the price lowers a touch. And he told me I was in luck, that I'm a very lucky girl, which I know I am, and I caught it off a cancellation. I'm gonna show you my, perhaps the best part is my rooftop terrace, the whole apartment I love. And I could easily stay here all summer, but like I said, they don't book like that here on this island. So please be aware of that. You can see he's only got nine rooms and he gives each one like TLC. So we're going up now. Here's my view so far, but the best is yet to come. Hang out with me. I've moved out now, so this was my room. <laughs> this is my terrace, guys. I mean, it's like, this would be a five-star Mexican hotel. No, not a five-star. There's no pool, there's no amenities, but I think they give it a three-star online. I'm not sure, but for me, it's like between a three, three and a half, just because it doesn't have the pool and the bar and all that. But as far as a hotel apartment, I give it a five out of five. The kitchen uh, takes a while to uh, heat up the stovetop, but most people don't cook on vacation, just I do. <laughs> so in the morning, you can lie out here on the sunbed. I work out here every morning and look at this. Washed my clothes. I get my own little clothes hangers here. For me, if you're coming here, uh, for somebody like me, it, it was absolutely perfect. Hey guys, so I made it to the top of heaven. <laughs> heaven top, top of my apartment. So I'm on the top, there's only nine units here. I'm not gonna show you inside right now till I clean a little. Let me grab a key in case I get um, locked out. So this is heaven, and this is the best part of the apartment. This is what we call in Greek a tarata, a rooftop. So every morning, 
this is my view guys morning evening night i mean what else do you need it's very hot up here just so you know you burn super fast when you're on a terraza look there's bugs around me but you wash your clothes you can hang them here have my morning coffee here i actually work out here every morning too you can tan here if you like but it's very very hot So I highly recommend this for hotel apartments. No pool, no pool bar, nothing like that. But uh, I will be moving to a place like that. Not my next place, but the one after will be like that. But every place I move to, I will most certainly document. This is Heaven Hotel Apartments, Aya Marina, Caña Crete. Wonderful hospitality. There is no reception. So usually with these mom and pops places, they'll let you in, they'll let you out. They clean every couple of days, but really it's all you need. Okay, it is absolutely beautiful. Here's a quick glimpse again. I haven't cleaned, but this is the kitchen you get. And th this has been my work area. And then you get like, hello. You get like your vanity and all that and your basic bathroom, which is very good for island standards. Trust me. <music> I highly recommend heaven uh, bring a sleeping mask because the curtains are not blackout curtains um, so for me I like it dark both sides you can use the AC or open up the windows heaven Kanya Crete Aya Marina of course um, you just it's across from the Alexandra Beach Resort Hotel, okay? I will uh, continue to document everywhere I stay. Mom, let me know if you have any inquiries. Bye, kisses from Crete. Hanya.